Good evening, friendos. It's time for Quest for Semi-Glory. Saturday night grab bag. Getting started a little bit late. That's all right. Look at this! It's a Link to the Past randomizer. This is a key sanity that we're going to be doing here. Um, it's been a hot second since we've done any sort of uh, Link to the Past rando, so why not jump straight into the deep end with everything because, you know, that sort of stuff is fun. Also because I need to make a submission video for Super Stigma Slam 2019, which is coming up early August, I'm submitting a, a key sanity rando for it, so this will count as my submission. Doing as much commentary as I think to do as we go along. We're gonna have plenty of time to do it too, because I'm expecting a good three, maybe three and a half hours on this one. Um, but due to the uh, volatility of the randomizer itself, it could be oh, quite a spread of time. Quite a spread of time. It's really difficult to estimate. But anyways, let's stop John and get going in three, two, one. Go, 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 go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's see what we get, huh? Let's see what we get. Ten arrows. What a fantastic start. What a fantastic start. So anyways, this is a randomizer for Link to the Past. If you're not familiar with a randomizer, one, where have you been in the past, like, three years? Um, but anyways, this is just like vanilla Link to the Past with some caveats, of course. Um, I forget what my normal route is for this, honestly. Um... But it's like normal Link to the Past, uh, except all of the items... Oh, fivers on the tree drop. All the items have been shuffled around. So that means uh, anything that we'd pick up and use, like hookshot, hammer, sword, uh, the armor, etc., etc., have all been mixed up and put in different places. Half magic from Uncle, that's pretty... good. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good, actually. We'll take that. Um, so we could find anything just about anywhere. Now this is been generated in such a way. Ice Rod. Ice Rod and Half Magic. Holy crap. Wow, wow, wow. So this one has been generated in such a way that it doesn't require me to know or to do any glitches to beat the game. Small key to Dark Palace. Okay, okay, okay. Um, so I don't need to know how to clip into walls or do bomb jumps or any other weird stuff. I could play this game casually and still and still be able to, to, to beat the whole thing. Which is what I like, because I'm not very good at any sort of glitches. I mean, there's a couple bomb jumps that I know how to do that I'm okay with, but um, other than that, I prefer my stuff glitchless. So this is also kind of an extended version of the rando entitled Key Sanity, whereby it's not just the major items that are mixed around, but also all of the dungeon items too. So all the small keys, all of the big keys, all- ooh, nice, crap drop, single bombs, all right. Uh, all the small keys, all the big keys, all the compasses, all the maps are also in the item pool. So we just found a, a small key to Dark Palace and Sanctuary. Um, now there is a caveat with some of the small keys. The ones that aren't mixed up are the keys that you will find under pots and skulls, as well as any small keys that drop from enemy kills uh, in a dungeon as well. Those are in the same spots, they're, they're original vanilla spawns. But everything else is, is mixed all over the world. Uh, the overworld, the dark world, any dungeon, anything like that. So uh, we will have ourselves a time trying to find everything. Excuse me, sir. Just gonna get a full set of bombs before we move on. That's that's real handy. That is real heckin' handy right there. What do we got at Mushroom Spot? A compass. Now, typically, in a in a non compass, of the tower here. Okay. So in a non-key sanity randomizer, the compasses and the maps are absolutely worthless. You can get along just fine without them. But in the key sanity version of the randomizer, they actually serve important functions. And a power glove, holy crap. Okay, I'm gonna take a moment to mark some of this stuff off. All right, well that's pretty excellent right there. Pretty good haul for the start here. Um, but the compasses now have an important function. They tell you how many items there are left to find in each dungeon when you go into them. And the maps also tell you uh, whether the dungeon is a pendant or a crystal dungeon. So in normal item only uh, randomizer, you would see you know, whether a dungeon is a pendant or a crystal just by checking the map. But if we check the map right now, nothing's showing up because we don't have any maps. We don't have any maps to any of the dungeons. So it's kind of neat how they, they took the compasses and the maps and they actually gave them a purpose now. So we won't be so angry on picking those items up anymore, since they are rather useful. Oops, we gotta switch back to bombs here. There we go. 
Alright, so we've got Ice Rod, we've got the Power Glove. Kane of Samaria, strong. Ten arrows, not so strong. Five bucks, also not strong. And the Flute, exceedingly strong. Wow, Kakariko, really doing the business here. What a good start. Means we can activate the Flute right away, and 300 buckos! That gives us plenty of cash for Bottle Vendor. Wow. Excellent, excellent. Okay. Now that makes me a little bit nervous because whenever a randomizer starts out strong, you gotta you have to kind of worry about the mid and the end game. <laughs> like, what are they gonna be hiding from me at this point? My goodness, my goodness, my goodness! But what a start! Uh, so the the goal, the end goal, is still the same. We still need to get seven crystals to get into Ganon's tower, and then we need to go kill Ganon. That's still the goal. Um, that has never stopped being the goal, really. The compass for Ganon's Tower. Okay, so there are... There is a map and a compass that is still worthless. Well, Flippers is pretty good. Uh, small key to Ganon's Tower. Okay, and a big key to Eastern Palace. Alright. Interesting. That's actually super solid, because that means we can go beat Eastern Palace right away, since we don't need any small keys that we don't find within the tower. Or within the, the palace itself. Um, what was I saying just before? Oh, small key. Ganon's Tower. Ah, eh, whatever. So yeah, the, the maps and the compasses to Ganon's Tower are, are still worthless. Uh, I guess the compass still tells you how many items are, are in there, so it's not entirely worthless, but it's it's pretty useless usually since Ganon's Tower is generally an endgame type thing. Although, in the Key Sanity Rando, it might not be. And the, the Titans mode? Are you kidding me? Wow, okay. Wow, wow, wow. Kakariko, you are loaded today, huh? We are three-fifths of the way to Zora money as well, so that's impressive. Hmm. Oh, we gotta activate the flute, too. Uh, more bombs. You know what? We needed three bombs, so that's good. Forget to activate the flute later on. So having all the keys, the small keys and the big keys kind of shuffled in, changes a few things for us. Uh, one, it makes uh, certain locations that we would prefer <clears throat> not to be required. Like, uh, Lumberjack Ledge, uh, behind the Aghanim Kill, and Master Sword Pedestal. That makes the- those locations far more likely to be required. Uh, which has a hand in vastly extending the amount of time a typical seed would take. Um, but so far, we're not too worried about that right now. We did see that the Lumberjack Cave was a big 20, so we don't care about that one necessarily. Um, but we will probably want to check Master Sword Pedestal sooner rather than later, just to be sure of whether or not we will be going for Pendants or not. Oh, uh, that's a compass, huh? Probably not important. Not important enough to go back for um, when we get the boots, but it's kind of good to know that that's there. We're going to go for the race game right away, since that also will be very likely to be important. Uh, either a small or a big key or something. And even if it's just a map or a compass, that's still... Uh, kind of helpful at this point. But a good, strong play. We are already at Titan's Mints. We've already got the Flutes, the Flippers, Ice Rod plus Half Magic, Kena Samaria, so lots of good items out of the way already. Impressive, impressive. Ah, it's just a big 20. You know what? Since we're here, we're gonna grab it. Since we're here, we'll grab it. And since we have the Flutes, we can get out of here right quick. And go do a whole bunch of other things. <laughs> Having Ice Rod makes Mini Moldorm Cave really easy. We also have a plethora of bombs that makes it easy. We've got a map to Desert Palace. Okay, so now we can check whether the Desert Palace is a pendant or a crystal. It is a crystal, a normal crystal, in fact. Let's mark that. Okay, well that's that's good. You generally, you typically like to see the Light World Dungeons have crystals since they are much shorter to complete, usually. Um, but sometimes that also depends on what sort of uh, keys we get, and when we get them. Because Desert Palace, I believe we need to find one small key to complete. A piece of candy. We don't really care that much about that. We're not going to bother picking it up. Um, Swamp Palace has a very important small key to it as well. Uh, I want to say there's six small keys for Palace of Darkness. If you know a couple glitches, you only really need four of them. Um, I know just enough about that palace to only need five. 
Uh, you little... Okay, that's better. Okay. <laughs> Alright, well, good thing we had half magic, so otherwise we wouldn't have had enough to do that. Another small key to Tower of Hera. That's important. So I think we can now do Tower of Hera. Ten arrows, another small, uh, small key to Turtle Rock, and a small key to Dark Palace. Alright, that's one of six, I want to say. So since small keys, compasses, and maps are now shuffled everywhere, that means we will doing we will be doing a lot more checks in every dungeon. Since now the chests that would normally hold the compasses and the maps might have something else in them. Um, ditto for any chests that might ah, geez, that might have had a small key in it as well. Right, so we're gonna do ice rod cave. We will and you know what, we'll keep the ice rod out just in case we need to ice a crab before we get there. So these guys are a little dangerous. Two hearts when we have only green mail. Can we get them both? No, of course not. Well, that guy's gonna die from this bomb anyway. And if his friend wants to get in the blast, that would be real nice. Thank you. Get our bomb back. Excellent, excellent, excellent. And since we have early flippers, we can go do the hobo check right away, too. No more bombs, all right. Not exceedingly important. Let's check Lake Hylia Island. Uh, we could, in theory, also do escape. Um, but that has a dark room in it that I'm not 100% confident in doing without a lamp. So we'll probably just leave that for now. We can still do the front and the back, both of which has three items to it, which could be very important. Um, but we'll just kind of do some overworld cleanup before we even think about doing that stuff anyways. Uh, there's a map on the island. We don't necessarily care about that. If it's going to be on our way at some point... Ouch. If it's going to be on our way at some point, we'll grab it, but we're not going to make a make it a priority or anything like that. Maps are kind of important in, in so much as they tell us which are pendants and which are crystals, but... Um, so they could save us some time if we don't really need to do a dungeon. Eh, 20 bucks from the hobo. Thanks. Thanks, buddy. Thanks, buddy, I guess. Not exceedingly important. Uh, you know what? We are... close to Sahash, so we might as well just swim for it. Or I could have I could have fluted as well. I'm not used to having flute this early. But since we're already kind of committed to swimming, let's just go ahead and swim there. I don't have any sort of, like, reliable weapon yet, either. We're getting kind of low on magic. We've only got the ten bombs with us. Just gonna have to deal with it for now, until we get a pokey weapon, or a hookshot, or a hammer, or something. Something of, of good offensive value. In theory, I think we did... Oh, wait, no, we don't have the bow, so we can't... We can't complete Eastern. Our container's pretty good. Quack. And some more bombs. All right, well, that's something, I guess. Actually, no, we won't save and quit. We'll just flute out. I'm not gonna dip into Eastern just yet, even though we're over here. Um, instead, we are going to perhaps... Do front and back side of escape. Actually, no, we're gonna go do Shashashashurla. Or not Shashashurla. We just did Shashashurla. We're gonna do Agonis. Agonis Cave. Alright, so we've got a heart container on Desert Ledge. That's, you know, that's good, but not, not a priority, really. As much as I don't like having only four hearts, we can't really get up there and get that anyway, so we're just gonna ignore it. But we've got plenty of places we can go still. We can do front and back of escape. Three items a piece there. We can do... Uh, if we farm up some money for Zora, we can do that. That might not be a bad play either. Compass. Got a compass to Dark Palace. Okay. Hmm. Not terribly useful. One other thing uh, that Kisandi kind of opens up for us is... Uh, you know what? We're going to farm up some money so we can go do Zora. 
Uh, one other thing that Key Sanity kind of opens up for us that we would normally never ever do unless it was absolutely required is the two chests in uh, Hyrule Castle Tower. Um, normally those are small keys, um, but since this is Key Sanity and the small keys are mixed into the pool, those could now also be important items. Um, but we can't really get them until we get, I want to say, two small keys to Castle Tower to get both of those items there. And we're going to do this two more times to get 100 more rupees. So really, it, it puts kind of Castle Tower in a more important spot, not necessarily making it required all the time, but there's always a possibility that those two items have something critical, like say a fire rod or a hammer bookshot, anything like that. Um, but we're gonna hope, as always, hope springs eternal, we're gonna hope that there's nothing up there and not go there unless we absolutely must. Okay, so now we're good. So now we can go knock out Zora right away, four items up there, the two in Waterfall Cave, uh, paying King Zora 500 bucks, of course, and then the one right off of his Waterfall. Four number four there. Let's take the warp for this. I really hesitate to do any sort of any sort of dive into any any palace really at this point without a reliable weapon is not ideal. So I'm just gonna keep doing some overworld checks as long as we have the ability to. Hey, Mega Weapon, how you doing? Good to see you. Heart container's pretty solid. Compass to Skull Woods, eh, okay. Whatever. It's not not great. But could be worse. We'll see what the, the King Ripoff has for us here today. We've got 10 arrows on the ledge, so we don't care about that. Now it's just up to what we're paying 500 bucks for. May or may not be good, may or may not be important, but we've got the money for it, so we're going to do it. Let's see what we got been a strong item showing so far, at least from Kakariko. A blue bottle. Okay. You know, I, I can't really be that mad about that. So that opens up Sick Kid, and it gives us a nice little backup item. So, heck yeah. We will take that as, it, as we may here. And since we've got Flute, we can get over there in a jiffy, knock that out, and then probably do front and back of escape, I suppose. Um, then we might hit up Death Mountain. The old man and the couple other places we can check right away. Alright, so with this bottle, Sick Kid will give us whatever. Whatever he's got. Eh? Eh? Eh, baby's first shield. You know, not terribly important. And not terribly valuable. So thanks for nothing, boy. Thanks for nothing, boy. All right, so we have to be a little bit careful here because we don't have much to our name. Uh, I guess we'll try front side first. Lucky bomb drop. So we got ten bombs and looks to be about a quarter of our half magic meter there. Uh, we're going to have to use bombs because Ice Rod will not kill these guards. So let's just hope that we're good with our bomb placement. Excuse me, sirs. Then I guess after that, it's the path up to Death Mountain and perhaps dipping into Eastern. We don't really need any weapons to dip into Eastern, so that might be the better play, honestly. But we'll see what this yields. Six items to check before we get that far. I don't even know if I'm going to bother trying to go for the dark room, because that requires killing a rat in the dark, which with no persistent weaponry is, uh, is painful. Alright, so if I remember how to do this, and I do not, but we'll hope that he gets hit by that. Uh, ah, oh, you shit. Come over here. Yeah, there you go. Okay. 300 bucks. Alright, you know what? A little bit of spending money is okay. Would have rather have seen a sword or something, but, you know, it's whatever. Got two more guards to kill. Uh, a green and a blue. 
That'll be at least three bombs. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. And I'll probably just save and quit and go to Sanctuary. No! Ah, you... Shit. Alright, can you stay there, please? Thank you. Mm, stay over here. Thank you. No. Small key to Dark Palace. I believe that's our second one. We got two keys to Dark Palace. We've got one to Hera, I want to say. Actually, I think our thing gives us... Yeah, okay. So we've got one to Hera. We've got three to Dark Palace. We've got one to Turtle Rock and two for Ganon's Tower. And we also have the big key to... It's L1. Oh, we've got the big key to Eastern. Really? Oh yeah, we did get that early on. Excellent. Oh, sh shoot. Uh, well? We'll see how we can pull this off. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if that we have enough firepower to take on this ball and chain guard. Oh yeah, yeah we do, because there's pots. That's right. Because there is pots. Very briefly forgot about that. We're not doing a death warp, we don't really care. We're just gonna save and quit out anyways. This is always the, the big key to, to the dungeon here. And a burrito to Hyrule Castle. That's the other worthless map. The two worthless maps. The uh, Hyrule Castle map and the Ganon's Tower map. Just the worst. Alright, so the front side three were not great. We got 300 bucks out of it. Whatever. still have a bomb left for the backside, so that's good. It's looking like it's gonna push us to either Death Mountain or to Eastern. Which, whatever, I guess. Unless we get something of value here. Big key to Swamp, okay. Three rupees, and hey, Blue Mail's not bad. Is kind of valuable. All right, let's let's go up the mountain. Yeah, we'll kind of break sequence a little bit and get the old man, and then we can start dipping into stir. Ooh, except we won't really have any way to tell where we are in the cave. That's this is gonna be this is gonna be a challenge. I like a challenge. The best we got is probably Samaria. It's not too bad. Except... There we go. Uh, oh, right. I don't think we can... Uh, can't go through the thing without it. Uh, okay, so now I th think we got it? I don't know. We have the old... I think we've got the old man following us. I'm not 100% on this now. I am not sure where we are, actually. I've kind of lost where... I've kind of lost where I've gone here. Oh, did we refine... Okay, we, we refound ourselves. I, I hope we have the old man with us, because I am not sure if we made it back to that room. We did! Holy heck! Wow! <laughs> okay, cool. Out of my way, squirrel. And it's just a burrito for Eastern Palace. You know what? That's probably fine. That doesn't uh, break sequence too terribly much. By which I mean it doesn't break sequence at all. It just gives us more info. All right. Thanks, old man. What a pro darkroom navigation that was, though. Incredible. All right. So that knocks that out. We can check what's on Spectacle Rock, and we can get whatever's inside. That's only two items, so that doesn't leave us a whole lot of options here. Up top is magic powder. You know, we'll leave that on the map. That's pretty important. And inside is the hook shot. Oh boy, there we go. That is what we were looking for. That is some good stuff. I think it's the yeah, left side. That is some good stuff right there. That gives us kind of like a pseudo weapon, I suppose. It'll kill some things straight out, like mini, mini wormulons. Uh, bats. 
but it'll only stun uh, certain other enemies like guards and skeletons. And, all right, what do we got for the hint? A unique item requires the cane of Samaria. That could be a lot of different places. Um, but Hookshot also gets us over to the east side of Death Mountain. We've only got one bomb, though. Is that going to be enough? Should be enough to get us through Paradox Cave at the very least. We'll have to uh, forego doing the bomb jump over there unless we get some more bombs. But we do have enough money to buy some more if we need to. Or we could just pick up a couple. <laughs> Picking up a couple is even better. Excuse me, sirs. Alright, that's good enough. So that's good. Uh, that keeps us from going into Eastern right away, which is nice. Excuse me. And it's also really good for movement. Hookshot's really good for movement, really good for pulling you towards stuff more quickly than you would otherwise be able to walk over to. Uh, we do not have the mirror, so we can't do that quick one. So we do have the on um, the hit the thing. I guess we do have a little bit of magic in the ice rod too, so we should be able to do this without much of an issue. We have another small key to Hyrule Castle. Okay, there's one of the castle tower keys that we need, and plus a few more bombs, which is nice. So now we can do the bomb jump and a few other things. I think the bomb jump is going to get us terribly far. Because we can't get up to Hera just yet. We need the hammer for that. So we've got a map of Skull Woods. We've got a piece of candy. We've got another piece of candy. One more and we'll get a heart container. Ah, there we go. And a fiver. Woohoo. Paradox Cave not really paying out. Alright, let's see if I remember how to do this. That should be good enough, I think. Just really need to cover the corner. I guess we can do Spiral Cave, too. That's the other thing up here. And we can check what's on Floating Island. Hmm. But then that leaves us with not many options again. Eastern. Uh, I don't know what that is up there. Squirrels. Get in my way, of course. heart container. Okay. Useful, but not important, <laughs> shall we say. So it looks like it's going to be a walk around spiral cave for us. Again, useful, but not terribly important. So it's looking like... Well, we might be able to get to one item in in the tower as well, so we've got a couple options. I'm gonna bank on the higher item density option, though, and go for Eastern. I've heard it somewhere before in like Scott Pilgrim. I, honestly, I wouldn't be able to tell you if it's in Scott Pilgrim or whatever. Wish I had my thing finished where I could show you what track it is, but I don't quite have that done yet. Maybe next time. Maybe we'll have it ready for next time. Uh, yeah, I already did. So sure, 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 sure. Look. Need to get up to the, the palace itself. Fades looking clean. What what does that mean? <laughs> what what are you talking about? What does that mean? What fade uh, what fade do you be speaking of? Alright, so there's normally three items here, but with the sanity involved, I think it's probably still three items. 
Or no, I guess it would be five now because of the, um... Or, or six, rather, because of the uh, big key compass and map being shuffled about. Excuse me. So we just gotta have a different count going on. Oh, haircut, thank you. <laughs> thank you. And a hammer, my goodness. What a strong opening item for, uh, oops, for Eastern. A hammer is real nice. That gets us up, ouch. That gets us up to, um, to Hera now. Uh, and sent, oh, we don't have uh, a fire source, so we can't complete Hera. Or we probably won't be able to complete Hera. It depends on how, um, how generous the first few items are. Um, oh, nice four bomb drop. That's sick. Okay, so this will be number two. And arrows. Whatever. What's even the point of that? Very useful until we get a bow. Okay, sorry, I'm not... I'm not used to thinking of Fade as a haircut. <laughs> as meaning a haircut, but thank you. I appreciate that. Um, I, I was due. I was due. It had been another solid month and a half, and I was getting... Long and unmanageable, and very warm in the current climb. But it should be nice and, and growed all back for in time for the marathon. What was that, the compass to swap pal? Swap pal? That's number three. Let's see if we get a hint here. Some cash and some arrows is in western wing of swamp pal. Cool, we don't need to go left side of swamp. That is good to know. That is some good info to have. Big ol' bombs? Well, no, not big ol' bombs. Normal! Normal bombs! That's number four, I believe. So then we've got... Uh, just vanilla big key location and then the boss, which we can't do the boss yet. Um, because we don't have... Don't have the bow. And since we're not doing enemy rando... Uh, There it is. <laughs> I can usually handle this, uh, this dark room pretty well. Oh, excuse me. Technically, we shouldn't be doing this, honestly. Okay, so actually, I know I should be marking keys and stuff off. And I don't even know if this is a crystal palace, or a crystal palace, rather, either, since we don't have the map to tell us. Ding. It's nothing but a piece of candy. So that's... Not great. That's not great, and we've kind of... We're kind of stuck in what we can do now. So really, the best play at this point is probably going to be Hera. That gives us 2 plus 3, so up to 5, I want to say. Up to 5 items. Be worse than just going through a way worse heat wave. Yeah, that's true. Lots of heat records uh, being shattered this year, unfortunately. So a lot of stuff going down. Uh, we need to go around the other way. Whoopsie doopsie. Since we now have the hammer and the hook shot, but no mirror. Oh yes, we've we've had uh, we've had one really solid heat wave where I'm at right now, where it was low 90s, but the heat index is 130. <laughs> Which was a real bad day. A real, real bad day. Luckily, I myself had personal access to air conditioning, so it wasn't that bad for me, but, ugh. It was... That week was not great. <laughs> this is very high heat indexes. My goodness. This global warming isn't real, right? Sure. I mean, sure, global warming may not be real, but climate change sure as heck is. <laughs> uh, can't, I just can't understand. Like, people that deny that shit, I just, I cannot bring myself to understand how ignorant you have to be to honestly believe something like that. To believe that that doesn't exist. But hey, whatever. But hey, whatever. Alright, so tower here. I think five 
five items, we will have access to one, two, at least two of them. Oh, six items, never mind. Moon Pearl is a strong, strong pickup. Um, I don't know that that necessarily does us any good right now. Oh, no, it doesn't. Or it does, because that gets, oh, it gets us into Dark World, so that opens up a heck of a lot. I forgot that we already had Titan's Mitts. And Hammer, so we have got Dark World access up the you-know-where. Item 2 is the Mushroom. Interesting. We can't get to Item 3 because we don't have... Uh, we don't have a source of fire. Plus, we can't get to... Oh, I should have done... Okay, now we can do Dark Side that Mountain. Um, and we can't go any further in the tower because we don't have the big... So... That's a bummer. But that did get us a, a very... A very key item. Moon Pearl, very important. That lit up... A whole bunch of the Dark World side of our map. Since we have also have Hookshot, that also unlocks the full of Hookshot Cave. Um, are we going to be able to do this? Oh yeah, yeah we will, never mind. Just Hookshot through the blocks here, that's fine. Kind of distresses me that we don't have the mirror. That makes routing for some of this a bit painful. What? Just have to deal. We'll have to deal. All right. So two at Super Bunny, plus four at Hook Shots. It's handy. And a big key. Skullwood's big key. All right. Okay. Uh, not important to finishing that dungeon, but important to getting another item out of it. So whatever. All right, so now we've got four in Hookshot Cave. We don't need to worry about what's on the floating island since we already checked that and it was a heart container on the side. Not important there. A bow is very important though. That allows us to complete Eastern. Small key to Dark Palace, that's number four I wanna say. Big old 20. We are almost able to complete Dark Palace now. We just need one more, and then I can get around without the last one. Uh, so I think we're done up here. Yep. So bow is nice. Uh, that does also technically make Palace of Darkness doable, too. But I don't think we have the big key, so we couldn't complete it. Um, all right, let's let's make the uh, Hype Cave play. Let's see if Hype Cave uh, lives up to its name today. I doubt it will, but hey, you never know. Probably should have done uh, Mushroom first. So now we can kind of take the, the southbound wraparound approach here. We've got Titan's Mitts as well. We can make our way up to Village of Outcasts. Normally, I don't have Titan's Mitts quite so early. But here's a nice solid five items. I want to walk up into that bomb. It'd be super cool. A sword! Hey! Now we're in business. Now we've got some weaponry. Green bottle, not bad. Small key to Turtle Rock, that's number two. Big old 20, some more bombs. Okay, I I'd rate this a six out of 10. The sword alone takes it to a six out of 10. That's a good chunk of time. 38 minutes, Swordless. That's a lot. <laughs> that's, a, that's a long time to not have a, a sharp poking stick. That old Stumpy. Old Stumpy, what you got for us today? Piece of candy. 
Generous. Very, very generous of you. Oh, but this is really good too, because now we can do digging game first. We can grab the frog on the way through and do just about everything in, uh, and the premise is clearly true. in uh, Village of Outcasts before having to warp out and do frog. Or blacksmith, rather. Really need a whole lot, heck of a lot of money. Uh, fire shield. Okay, you know that's actually useful. Now block us some fire balls. <laughs> balls. Not what I would have preferred to have seen. Like I would have wanted a fire rod or a lamp. But fire shield's good too. All right, let's think about this. I think we can just grab it. Be on our way. We've got hammer, we've got titan's mitt, so we can do peg cave. No boots, though, so we're doing the slow style. Randomized swords, does that mean you can get butter right off the bat? Um, beef. Let's see, in version 26 and before, yes, that was true. Small key to Thieves Town, heck yes. Alright, we just need the big key so we can finish it off. Uh, version 26 and before, that was true. As, as of version 27 of the randomizer, they turned on progressive swords. So you will always get the plastic sword first, and then master sword, and then tempered, and then butter. But prior to that, yes, it was always very exciting to get butter immediately. <laughs> that was always a, a good time. Um, but that's no longer possible. Although I'm not sure if you can turn that on or off. Small key to Skullwood. So we have two to Skullwoods now? Just one. Okay. Hmm. I don't know if I like that. So we do have one small key to Thieves Town, which I think is the important one. We could still go in for the four front side items, but then if we don't find the big key, we're not gonna be able to do anything else. Okay, another G Tower small key, which is good. I mean, we have what, three of them now? Yeah, we got three small keys to Janin's Jan Jan Tower, <laughs> which is fine. Just fine and good. Uh, can we even go in with the frog? We can't. Ah, oh, you shit. Bamboozled myself. Alright, well, let's go ahead and go up and check Bumper Cave before we warp out of here. Bit more of a. Bit more of a world tour for ye old froggy. No, since we're up here, I suppose. Oop. <laughs> ah! <laughs> since we're up here, I guess we may as well go across and do uh, catfish. And perhaps we can double back for pyramid? It's really, this is so out of the way, it doesn't, doesn't really matter how we route this in. And if this turns out to be, like, another sword, or fire rod, or really anything else of value, it will be worth the trip. Ah. Oops. <laughs> I panic bomb there. <laughs> Excuse me. Fucking jumpy plant thing. 
Shout out to me being a long time ago. That's the nicest thing ever. <laughs> I mean, that's that's true. I also prefaced it with supporter as well. So I mean, I figure. I figure. I figure we'd cover both sides of the coin, you know. In the interest of fairness. Angry ass fish is anything good, bro. Eh? Hey, see what did I say? What did I say? If it's another sword or whatever, it's gonna be worth it. Cool stuff. Alright. See, that was worth the trip now. 100% worth the trip. And since we're here, we may as well do Pyramid and. Perhaps even dip in to, um, dip into pot as well. We've got four small keys? Four small keys to pot. That's one short of what I need, since I don't know how to, um, do the, the glitch that prevents us from needing an extra one, but... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Better be all clever with that. Oh wait, we can't go into pot anyways because we've got the frog following us, so... Never mind. That plan is no good. But we can check Pyramid. And that will be that. We'll have to work back to Light World. We can drop off Frog Boy, who will now be a blacksmith. You know what? We're gonna grab that burrito. Maybe it'll be important. Dark Palace. Oh, Palace of Darkness, okay. Oh, it's a 5-6-er, and Skull Woods is the other 5-6-er as well. That's pretty good. Good information to have. It's yesterday's mod, did I complete Bloodstain? Yes! Yep, we have uh, put Bloodstain to rest now. We got the good ending, and we even started a bit onto New Game Plus and hard, and it was you know about what you would expect. Um, which is not to say that's bad, but... Uh, that, that's enough playing it on stream for now. So then we'll be starting a new game come Monday. Yet to be determined. Alright, so we do have the mushroom as well. Let's go drop that stuff off. Meep, meep. Piece of candy. You know what? I'm gonna grab that. Is that gonna give us another? It will. It's sick. Okay, worth it. Alright, so we've done that. Done that. We're gonna drop off the blacksmith. And then we can do the front four of, um... front four of uh, Thieves Town, and the front couple of Pod, and we can do the Mire Shed as well. Let's see what we got here. Oh, they're fucking counterfeiting money. Thanks, guys. Thanks for that. Very suspected Tommy very early on in the playthrough. Like, come on. Like, that's just, that's really par for the course for a Castlevania game nowadays, is that, oh yeah, it's super helpful. Yeah, whatever. No. <laughs> that never happens. That's not a thing. Uh, alright, so we got... Take the frog home. Can't do any more up in Hera. Yeah, okay. I guess we'll do Meyer Shed, because that'll get us two. And the rest we're gonna have to bop in the Dark World for anyways. Which we'll have to warp out and do since we can't get out of the... Uh... Can't get out of this area without the mirror. Oh right, we've got the Quake Medallion too. And well, lo and behold, that's what we can use to get into Mire. Whether or not that's actually going to be terribly useful is going to be, uh... Oh, hey! 
tempered sword, heck yes. And a small key to pod. All right, so now we've got enough small keys. We just need that big old key. And at this point, I'm kind of tempted to go into Mire and see what we can see. <laughs> I do I do enjoy that David Hayter was involved in that game. That's heckin' good. He's got such a good voice. Even if all of his voices are Solid Snake, it, it's a good voice. It is a real good voice. Alright, so I'm not 100% sure how many items we have available to us in Mire now. I'm gonna guess five. Or perhaps more, because there's a lot of small keys and chests here. So, we'll see what we can do here. We're not gonna be able to do the back half of it, because we don't have the... Uh, lamp. And I am not familiar with... Excuse me. Not familiar with the dark rooms in this one. Stupid-ass with robes. Okay. So now we're gonna have to think about what our route is gonna be through here, because... Normally I don't deal with key sanity. <laughs> I guess we'll just kind of follow it through and see what we can do. There's... I'm gonna think of how many, like, small keys and chests there are here. Probably not too many. So maybe just going through this one normally is the best we can do. 300 buckos is strong but not strong in the way that we need it to be strong, so whatever. Certainly set for money. Map of Thieves Town, that's, that's kinda good. We can see if that's a crystal or a pendant. Hmm, I suppose we could also try to get the first item out of Castle Tower, too. That is a thing that is possible. Uh, we do not have... Shoot! We don't have a source of fire, so we can't do this one. Can't do those two over there. But, we can do this one and we can do... Oh, this might be the only other one we can do now. So we can't do the big chest. Um, hmm. Can't do the big chest because we don't have the big key. We can't go any further because we don't have the big key. Oh, that's not true. We can get one more chest. There's one more that we can grab. Kevin Conroy, David Hayter, and Doug Cockhorn. That's right. <laughs> I don't know who those other two are. What, what, uh, what significant voices have they done that I would probably at least recognize where they're from? Uh, yeah, this will work, maybe. Let's get to do this. I don't have the big key, right? Yeah. Big key of ice pals. Dang it. <laughs> uh, hmm. Let me think about this. I think the only other places I can get to now and here are small keys under... under pots. Which might be important. Because we do need one more small key yet, I want to say. Right? So we have to go to the north. Yep, we have to go up there, so that'll be the small key there. Okay, we'll have to come back for it, that's fine. Conroy is the voice of Batman for the entire Arkham series, mostly animated series. Okay, alright, fair. Tackle is the voice of... Merle de Rivera. okay, right. <laughs> okay, I get you, yep, I, I can... I can hear them in my mind's earballs. Now that you've said so. Uh, okay, it's... Matter where we go, I'm just gonna flute out anyway. 
can't do anything else in Hera because we don't have a source of fire. I guess Thieves Town is the play now. Thieves Town and Purple Chest, really. Yeah. So Thieves Town front four. Purple Chest if that doesn't pan out. We are definitely at a significant deficit of big keys to actually do things here. But let's see. Okay, so Thieves Town is a crystal. That's nice. Nice, easy dungeon to have a crystal in. Oh, probably the other big thing I didn't mention super early on is that now that all the big keys are shuffled around, um... The Ganon's Tower big key becomes kind of the item that can be just about anywhere. It can be in Ganon's Tower, as always, or it could be anywhere else in the world. So the sooner we find that thing, the better. And we hope that it's not on uh, Master Sword Pedestal. Like, that is our big hope. The biggest hope within our heart of hearts is that MSP is still not required. <laughs> Which in a key sanity seed uh, has a much higher likelihood of being required. Which sucks. Alright, so I think there's seven just here. We've gotten two of them. Be able to get to the back half without the big key. There's number three, and that was garbage. Four, which is also garbage. All right, we're gonna walk this out so I can get purple chest now. Ouch. Ow, excuse me. This purple chest, even though it's only one item, could be that one important item that unlocks everything else for us. In typical rando form. We could also finish off Eastern. I think there's one item left there. Uh, even though technically that'll be out of sequence because we don't have the lamp yet. And we could also dip into Pod early. Because we now have enough keys to do so. We still don't have... Uh, we don't really need a fire source for it, but that would require us doing a lot of... Um, a lot of dark rooms, which I do not want to do. Let's see here. Uh, this doesn't really matter. We're just going to flute out anyways. Oops. That, that puts us to... You know what? Let's finish Eastern. Let's just get Eastern out of here. It's only one more item, I think. Um, but it also could be a crystal, so... Let's just do this, then we can warp back and, and dip into Pod for more items. And hope that there's something there. Excuse me, sir. See, this is what I was afraid of. I was afraid of with a with as strong a start as it was, getting so many cool items in Kakariko that now we're at the mid game and everything sucks. <laughs> but what what else could you possibly expect out of a randomizer though?
theory we can clear the skeleton room with the bow, but I don't. I don't expect a whole goodly amount of things to happen for us here. Yeah. Well, oh, no. <laughs> Lame. Good <laughs> bird right now, it's all ashes. Yeah. I mean, sometimes, sometimes there are just things beyond your control. Oh, we still have to do one more dark room now. Crud. And it's the worst one. Out of the three dark rooms you have to deal with in here, this is the worst one coming up, so... Let's hope for the best. Let's see, he's right there. Alright, that, that went pretty well. for this so it's not showing me the item count. Clamp Womp. I think we've got them all. It's it's really hard to screw up the item count on Eastern, even in case key, key sanity. This is the three normal items plus the three you wouldn't uh, get in the chest otherwise. Alright, good drops. So this will technically be out of logic and off the path here for now, but if it's gonna be crap anyways, like, what does it matter? Yeah, I really screwed up this fight. <laughs> I really have screwed up this fight a lot. Yeah. I suppose technically I didn't need the bow for this. Oh, I did. I did. Oh, uh, small key to Ice Palace. Alright, so not... Not terribly, uh, groundbreaking there, but... We did get a crystal out of the deal, so that's something. That's crystal number one, Ed. A bucko one in. <laughs> Crap. All right. Well, that at least takes care of that. Doesn't really change what we can and can't do. Since that was a small key to Ice Palace that dropped off of Armos there. And we can't do Ice Palace yet. Actually, can we? No, we can't, because we don't have either Bombos or Fire Rod to kind of get in the front door. Or the door right after the front door. Would you call that the penultimate front door, I suppose, right? No, maybe not the penultimate front door. I don't know what you would call it. Hmm. So, now we have to decide how many of these dark rooms we're gonna do. Probably not the one in the maze, because that one sucks. We could do the one in the U-turn uh, below the boss door. That one's pretty easy to handle. So there's 14. 14 items in pod now with key sanity. That's kind of silly. <laughs> the first one is a big old 20. Thanks for that. Goodness me. So luckily, we don't really care about the front door here. We should be able to get around without burning a key on that door, but if we don't find a lamp <laughs> or the big key to this place, it's not going to matter. Because we're not going to be able to go too much further. Compass requires the hammer. Thanks. Not really, really care about that too much. Did we already find that one, perhaps? Maybe that was Peg Cave.
a small key to Skull Woods. I think that's probably the last one that we need there. So I suppose technically we could dip into the front half of Skull Woods too. Uh, hey, we found the big key to Pod. Incredible. That's good and or bad. <laughs> Good and or bad. Um, I suppose technically we don't need to do anything there either. Think about the best way to handle this. Uh, you know what? Let's do the other ones over. And we'll come back. So we're gonna burn one key here. That's fine. If we knew how to do the bomb jump there, that'd be nice, but we don't. I don't have a lineup for it. Ouch. Ouch. Oh boy, ten arrows. Thanks. Alright, so we'll do this dark room. This will be two items here. Devil is the chest on this thing. Ah, oh, there we go. Okay. Not terribly important. No. Kick. I don't remember if it's on the outside or if it's on the inside track here. Bombs and a, what was it, a big 20 or a piece of candy? Neither of which are terribly good, so... So poo on that. So burn another key there. Kane of Brian, that's something. Your AV receiver might be dead. Try to you think I can't get the output sound on any of your speakers. Oh, womp womp. That kind of sucks. Receivers are... I mean, decent receivers are really kind of expensive still. Alright, so before we fall down there, let's go grab this other one. It's not muted, right? <laughs> Just to make sure it's not muted. Oh, nice, okay. So now we've got nine hearts. Not bad, not bad. Oh, right, so the last key here. Maybe we have all the small keys now, actually. Isn't there... Oh, maybe not, maybe not. I was thinking that there was... Uh... <laughs> hey, man, look. The number of times that I thought something was busted, but is either not plugged in, or... or muted, or something. Some stupid garbo has been more times than I'd care to admit rather than the thing actually being busted. Okay, so that, I believe, is all of the items we can get here. Uh, so there would be, let's see, one in the big chest, two in the labyrinth, and one off the boss, so that would account for the rest of the four. <laughs> it's, like, asking the dumb questions like that is a curse of having worked in tech support for any length of time. Let's think about what we need to do here. <sighs> Thieves Town, we did the opening stretch of... We can go into Skull Woods. I suppose technically we can go into T-Rock. Well, maybe, depending on what it is. We've already gone into Misery Mire. Skull Wo yeah, it's gonna be Skull Woods and... Yeah, that's it. It's, it's I think it's just Skull Woods. Skull Woods and maybe, uh... Castle Tower. Honestly. <clears throat> so let's bust and move on over to Skull Woods. Actually, hmm. Now I'm kind of curious. Lost my controller here for a second. Seriously? 
fix my controller right quick. I don't know why it went silly there. set this dang thing without losing my game. Here. Okay, what the heck? Are you not detecting my gamepad input now? Cool. I think I'm gonna have to reset this thing real quick um, after I figure out <laughs> how to uh, save and or quit before we reset. to make sure that was going to work before we hard reset this thing. I didn't want to lose more, any of our progress there. I just need to rebind everything again. Hooray! That's okay, because I was going to S&Q out of there anyways, because we need to go to Skullwoods. It's really the only place we can go, I think. The rest is kind of locked off from us. We can't go to Hera yet. We don't have fire. We can't go deeper into Thieves Town, because we don't have the big key. Ditto for Meyer. Ditto for... Um... Odd. We might be able to scam our way into T-Rock. So Skullwoods first, I think. Skullwoods first. I was afraid that this kind of garbage would happen. Could pull it, try to pull a fast one on us here. And just extend things way longer than it needs to be. We already did the purple chest. We've already done all the overworld stuff we can do. Oh, right. Uh, Hyrule Castle Tower we can do as well. Well, maybe the first item in we can. But, like, the thing that would blow some things open for us is a, is a lamp. So that would get us dark rooms and a fire source, which should open up the rest of Mire. And the rest of Pod. There's eight items in Skullwoods now? Jeez. Oh, it's a Vice Palace. Oh boy. I think they still have it set up such that... Excuse me, sir. Such that that one locked off room will be guaranteed to have a small key. We'll just burn one there. And going south would be a dumb idea, so let's see what we got here. Um, so we don't have a big key here, do we? We do. Interesting. I didn't realize we had the big key. Oh, that's right, we did pick up the big key. The only thing we're missing really right now is the fire rod to get to the back half of things. Is this 
will be number four. The other item will be number five. There's one chest. Ha! Well, look at that. There's the fire rod. Hoorah. Alright, that makes the rest of Skull Woods attainable. Grats, grats, grats. Uh, I don't think that's the, gonna be the extent of all the items. I think we're still gonna be missing one. So we're at four of eight right now. So one we're going for here will be number five. There's one chest on the approach to the second half, which would be number six, and then the boss would be number seven. Excuse me. Ether could be important. Hmm. So now I'm kind of confused as to where the last item is going to be. I honestly don't know. I think this should still be a small key, right? Yeah. Maybe they do count the one in the blocked off room as a chest. Which, if that's the case, we can go double check that. Alright, so definitely Fire Rod has opened up a whole bunch. That also gets us into Ice Palace, which we already have a small key and the big key for, so that's gonna be interesting. Not a... Number six, okay. Number seven will be on the boss, and then number eight would, would have to be that other chest in the uh, locked off room. So maybe we're good here. Maybe I'm worried about nothing. So now at least we would have the key to get into that room. The extra key, rather. Ah! Lame. Out of the way. Thank you. Drop off this Gibdos, presumably. Okay. Oh, son of a. Come on, get off me. Lame. Jerk ass Wormula. Since we have tempered, this will be a soft. This will be a pretty soft touch. Tempered plus half magic. This will be item number seven. Okay. Oh, and that, oh, that's right. That was a five sixer. Okay, so even better that we came up here. that was actually important. That's crystal number two. Hmm. So I'm going to take a brief detour and check out that other chest then and see if that counts as the eighth one. Because if it doesn't, I'm going to have a real uh-oh moment here. for us here. That makes Hera achievable. Uh, makes Pod... Well, I don't think Pod... It doesn't get us any further in Pod, really. It makes uh, Ice Palace certainly achievable. Let's see if this is going to be the last one that counts. Okay, that does count. Very good. 
wasn't quite sure if they had included that one in the count or not. Alright, so that's good. That's off the list. Uh... Let's do Hera. I don't know if it's going to be a crystal. Very, it might be, it might not be, but it's uh, good for like another three items, I want to say, at this point. Dang shame that we have to go the long way around. Then after that, I think uh, Ice Palace is going to be the place since we have the big key and the small key. Is that one small key going to be enough? I hope it's going to be enough. Excuse me, sir. Oh, serious, really? I suppose that does unlock a fair amount more of Meyer as well. The left hand side for uh, um, the vanilla big key spot and. Uh, and oh, yeah, right, right, and the one to the north on the left hand side there. So that's good. That's another two. Such as it is. Man, I really want the lamp so we don't have to worry about dealing with uh, dark rooms and stuff. I'm glad we had that small key. I didn't realize if we had, had it or didn't. Oh, shoot. No, whatever. I just didn't want to get us in that soft lock position. Since we don't have the mirror to quickly get ourselves out of it, we'd have to ask and queue out. don't. Oh, so we can't even do anything further here. Well, that sucks. <laughs> that sucks. That was only good for one item. Well, well, sugar. Um, I'm actually going to walk this out because I want to check, one, what T-Rock is, and two, since we've got Samaria and Fire Rock and two small keys, we can actually get a fair amount into it. without, um, you know, it might just be faster to SQ out and go across again. Nah, too late. We're committed. Uh, without a lamp, we're kind of at... We're kind of forced to be only in the first half of T-Rock. Although I don't think we get to the dark rooms until after the big key door anyway, so we might be safe. We might be safe regardless of what we think we're gonna do. Man. See, it's just such a simple thing, not being guaranteed the big keys in the dungeons that you're in, but it makes for a, a much more interesting set of decisions you have to make. No mirror, either. No mirror, no literacy. Boomerangs I could take or leave. No boots is kind of distressing. That makes me real worried that something important will be on the Ganon's Tower Torch. Oh, and this is Quake as well, huh? Okay. Well, we've got an in. We've got an in, even if we can't complete the sucker. Get 
Kingdom's Tower key is held by the Kakariko Village Elder. Oh, really? So sure, sure, sure has the second Ganon or er, Castle Tower key? That's kind of silly. Oh boy. Well, let's hope that that second item in there isn't uh, important though. Even though we're kind of locked out of it by the by missing the lamp, anyways. I think. Ah, just a small key. There's a small key to this dungeon right inside there. It's funny. But all right, so I think we can get. Oopsie. Well, we can fall down like a dumb idiot. Um, let's see. So there's going to be two in this next room. There's going to be... Um, one in the center platform. Huh. Yeah. Let's think about this a little bit. I don't... I think there's a minimum of three more items in here from the big key, the compass, and the map. Not knowing, like, the chest for small keys and stuff, like, it's kind of tough to gauge what we can and can't get. Oh, well, that was stupid. I should have not even tried to do that. Oops. Ah, well. Okay, so we've got the, the two in the next room, the one in the center island. We might be able to get to the room after that. No, the room after that is the big key. So I think that we might be at three more and that's it here. And then that would be it. And then we'd have to bug out and go somewhere else, maybe do Ice Palace. That might be... That might be the the better play. Oh, mirror is fucking solid. <laughs> and the boots. Holy heck. Okay, well that's a that's a real solid go of things right there. Phew. All right. Uh, you know, one good turn deserves another, I suppose. T-Rock, definitely holding value. And that opens up pretty much the rest of the overworld. That's the rest of the overworld that is, um... Oh, that's right, I forgot about this one here. Uh, hopefully we don't get murdered by these chain chomperinos. Excuse me. Ah, bless America, come on. Really? <sighs> I don't want to leave those there, though. That's, uh, that's a bad idea to leave two items on the table when they are accessible now. They are accessible immediately. Um, and if I leave them behind, I feel like it's going to be important. Like a big key to somewhere. <laughs> Did you get out of my way, you ass? Ah. Alright, do your little... <laughs> yeah, see, look at that. A big key... Oh, the, the, the really? The big key to T-Rock. Are you serious? Well, the, the dark rooms still kind of lock us out of stuff, so... And I am not dealing with... Well, could I deal with the dark rooms here? I probably know the path well enough to do it. Should we try it, maybe? We can give it a go. Oh. I don't really want to. <laughs> I don't really want to, but I feel like we should try it at least once. And if we die in it, then whatever. T-Rock. 
Okay, I suppose we can get a uh, mimic cave over up here, huh? We can get mimic cave, we can get big chests. We can get the approach. We can get the chest on the approach to the dark room. And then I suppose we may as well just give it a shot. We'll give the dark room a shot. We've got to get out of this place anyways, regardless. So I'm not even going to be mad if I die, which I probably will die. Like, there's not really an if about it. Um, we may as well give it a go. Why not? Why the heck not? It'll be... It'll be breaking sequence a little bit if we make it. But honestly, the less time we spend in T-Rock, the better. Oh, Mimic Cave, Mimic Cave, since we've got here. Got mirror and hammer and everything else to deal with this garbo. Oh, I suppose I wouldn't mind getting powder before we leave Death Mountain again. Alright, so I'm trying to I'm trying to pull up some images in my mind's eye here of that stupid darkroom path. And I mm, I hope I have it. If I don't know Biggie, but I hope I have it just because it'll look really super solid if I can pull it off. Although, hmm, only one small key. We might be missing a small key to do the rest of this. Because we're gonna need to burn one here. And we're definitely gonna need one. So even, bastard, really? Even if we do manage to get through the dark room, we're still short one key. Unless we get it in the course of everything, you know. Let's see. So here's that one. Uh. Alright, I think I've got it. I think I've got it. I just need to be able to place this thing. Nice. Oh, no, I already I already missed it. Oh, shit. Yeah, now I'm probably boned. Yeah. Okay, I'm not gonna bother. I'm not gonna bother going back for it. So I messed it up the first time, there's no way I was getting back without getting murdered. Okay. Well, that's fine. That's fine. That's... It's a natural barrier for this, so I'm not even mad. Now, can I mirror out of this before... Yes, we can. Okay, good. Uh, yeah. In fact, we're gonna flute back. Because I want that powder. I do want the magic powder. That will be a good safety item to have. Plus, it'll get us Batman. Excuse me. And even if it's only a single item check, sometimes a single item checks will make or break. Make and or break. Alright, so that'll be that. We don't have the Hera big key yet, do we? We do not, so we're good there. So now we've got tons of overworld stuff to do. If we've got the Swamp Palace small key, we can do a fair amount there. Uh, let's do Batman first. Since we're kinda here. The rest of the overworld checks we can do are all in the light world. Um, with the exception of the cave north of Graveyard, we need to bop into Dark World for that anyways. And Checkerboard Cave, I suppose. And Cave South of Graveyard. Or Cave 42, what is that? What, is that? what do they call it? South oh, they do call it South of Grove on this tracker. Interesting. 
All right, Bam Tan, what you got for us? Boomerang. Lame. Lame, lame, lame. All right, so a lot of these ones then are going to be dependent upon kind of circling around through Dark World. So our best chance will be probably here. Then we can do all the northward ones. Uh, King's Tomb, Bonk Rocks, Cave North of Graveyard. There'll be three checks there. And then we can loop down and around to get <clears throat> Cave South of Grove and... What the heck is that one? Oh, Checkerboard Cave, right. That'll take another warp anyways. And then we can get into Desert as well. What do we have for keys there? We don't have any keys for Desert. We'll need at least... I want to say at least one, but we can get in there and do... What am I doing? North side. We can get in there and at least check... Let's see, one... Let's see, torch? Torch and top center room. That's two checks. Let's get bonk rocks. shovel. We can't do dig spots. Can't do dig spot. We have don't have the second five sixer, which is in pod, so we can't do big bomb. Double chest to parry, rather. Can't do Sashash or Shurchula. We don't have the green pendants. Map a swamp. Okay, well, that's actually kind of useful. So we don't have the swamp. We have the swamp palace big key. We don't have the small key. And the likelihood of that small key showing up in that very first chest is pretty slim. One in 225 items slim, or probably even more since this is key sanity. Ouch. Hey, there's our lamp. Okay, well, that puts to bed pretty much the rest of these items, doesn't it? Uh, hmm. Now we're really just down to big keys. Can we do the rest of pod? We can. We can finish up pod. That'll give us the other five sixer. Which will get us double chested fairy. We can now tackle the dark room in T-Rock. But we still need another small key to finish it off which could be on Laser Bridge. All right, well, let's do the stuff that we know we can do before we start trying to play some odds here. Now very safely do Dark Cross. We should be able to get, well, do, can we get both in G2? Not 100% sure that we can get both in, um, Oh, crap. I think I just burned the key that I was going to use elsewhere. Oh, no. We'll get another one here. That's right. Excuse me. So we'll get Dark Cross. We'll have another key for Hyrule Castle Tower. Dragon's Tower, rather. Uh, hmm. Oh. No. Ugh. Well, hmm. Maybe I should have gone in from the front so as not to burn that other key. I think we may have done a stupid here. We may have done a dumb. I don't know. 
I don't know if we can pull this off now. Well, we'll see. We'll try. We'll try. I'm not... I've never gone into Ega Tower purely for the items before, so we'll see how this plays out. You can sell the tea leaves this morning. They have impaired their wisdom for an exciting prophecy. Mushroom slavery grows strongest as the year's hottest phase draws to an end. <laughs> Shitani Infinity Drive clear confirmed for tomorrow. If only. If only. I hope that's true. That would be great. That would be like the a good cap to the weekend. So I know I need at least one small key to get both of these items, but I don't know. Oh, I do. Oh, those. That is a separate key. Okay. All right. We might be saved. We might be saved. Right, I forgot that they do Hyrule Castle and then Aga Tower Keys separately. So here's one. That's great. Awesome. I'm not sure if we need the second key before the second item, or... I guess it's gonna be in the Dark Maze, so we might be okay here. Yeah. Might be okay. Emphasis on might. Because there it is. Oh, the G Tower big key. Oh, sugar. Wow, okay, that's good. That is good to cross off the list. That is fantastic. All right. Uh, okay, we're gonna call that done. Now we can do, hmm. I guess let's do checkerboard. Do we have the Meyer? We don't have the Meyer big key. That's kind of what's locking us out. Although, oh, shit. <laughs> I don't want to jump down there. Um, we can do checkerboard. We can try desert. Let's see what the first two items yields there. So we can also go into Meyer and see what those other two items will yield. Just really missing a lot of big keys at this point. We've got a fair amount of small keys to everywhere. The exception of the Swamp Palace small key, which is actually kind of important. <sighs> Silvers. Oh my goodness, thank you. Heck yes. Alright, no silverless Ganon tonight. <laughs> Fantastic. Phew. All right, that is a, a couple big worries knocked out. I think it's pretty much just the left side that we need to do, or that we can do. Without the big key, we're not going very far. So if that big key from Meyer wants to show its... I'm in the wrong spot. Wants to show its head here in one of these two chests, that'd be very good. That'd be excellent, in fact. Yeah, it's good for another heart. Thank <laughs> you. 
to get in here would be... Huh! Well, Butter Sword, hello! <laughs> Excellent. Okay. There might be one other chest I can get. I don't really know how to get it, but I'm gonna go north here. Ah, oh, that's another small key, huh? Sugar. Uh... This might be a big old question mark on how I'm gonna get to this one, then. Yeah. Okay. I think if I go... I wanna go north. I think going left here is gonna yield me anything either, yeah, because this is gonna be... I'm trying to think of how to get to that room now. I think I can get to it without the big key. Think. All oh, right, because I have to go up and around. So this might actually be a. Oh, I can't because I don't have another small key. Sugar. Well, all right. I think I'm done here then. <laughs> Dang it. All right. So there's still a couple things we can do in my air after we get a couple small keys. Or at least one. At least one small key. But for now, let's go into desert. I don't know that we can finish it. We definitely need the big key to get... You know, which we don't have. We really need the big key to get anywhere. Because then we're missing the big key to... We're missing the big key to... Oh, excuse me. To Meyer and to Thieves Town, and then to Hera and Desert. We have the big keys to everything else. We might be able to finish Ice Palace? Or complete, go through Ice Palace completely? I think, because we've got a small key. Shovel, alright. Take the big, take the heart container. Why not? Oh, it's Saint Card to boot. Nice. Let's ask him there. Okay, I think that's all we can do in desert. We need the big key for that, and we need a small key for the right hand side, which we don't have. Our other, well. It's not strictly true, I guess. The other option is to swipe the small key from... Which might be worth it, come to think of it, because that'll get us two items. Yeah, let's try it. We can swipe the small key from the second half and use it in the first half. We'll still need to find a small key somewhere uh, to get to the rest of the second half, but... At the very least, we can get two more items here. Who knows, maybe one of them would be the wire big key or something. That was dumb. That probably cost me more time than just walking down there. Oh well. over here. This gets us the chest on the approach and the vanilla big key chest as well. <laughs> Come on. Really don't need any more rupees. Really don't. Really don't need any more rupees. <laughs> Alright, so that was a bust and a waste of everybody's time. Including mine. Hmm. 
So the last overworld checks that we can do now will be Cave South the Grove and then Dig Spots. Either of which on its own could be important. Every spot is really important now. I did do Skull Woods, right? Yeah. Darn good thing I write these things down most times. spot rather and then that'll be it for overworld <laughs> pretty much until we get some other stuff that we can do gosh dang it uh all right um there's the one in swamp we can't go any further in thieves we can't go any further in Hera. we can't go any further oh we can go a little bit further in t-rock now that we have the lamp um, we might, well, we can complete, uh, we can complete pod now, and then we can do ice, I think. We've got one key for ice. That might be enough. Let's go finish pod. That's something we know we can do. That will get us the other five sixer and open up two more on the overworld, so. That is perhaps not the best play, but it is a play. A smart play, in fact. Slightly above neutral. Ouch. So we still have two keys to pod. Both of which will be used. So we don't know the bomb jump onto the big chest area. But as long as we circumvent the locked door in the center, we do not need to find the sixth small key. Let's just remember to not go through the middle. Everything will be fine. Then we'll have the two in Dark Maze, the big chest, and the boss. That'll be the remaining four. Excited there. Sick shot. Didn't even intend to hit that second dude, but we got him. single rupees. Hooray! Oh, I am an idiot. Forget how to navigate this even with a light. It's candy. Boo. Not the value I'm looking for here, Pod, please. You got two more chances to wow me. 
All right, there's the other de desert palace small key. So once we get the big key, we are golden there. Presuming we even... Oh, yeah, we will need to do it because it's a crystal dungeon. Dang. Let's say, if it weren't a crystal dungeon, we might be able to skip it entirely, but... That's a big old nope there. Uh, yeah, I guess we can go this way. too far. Alright, so we finish up pod. We probably go for ice. I suppose since we're kind of down in that area, we could check the first item in swamp. That would be terrible, but we could do it. it'll depend on what we get in these next few. If it gives us more big keys, that would be great. More big keys and maybe a small key or two. The Swamp Palace small key is super valuable at this point, because that's really locking a lot of stuff. how low a health I had. There we go. <laughs> Okie dokie. Fifty rupees, really. Thanks. Crystal number three, though. That's something. That's the other five six here. That's all unlocks double chest and fairy, so... Whatever, I guess. Could be worse. Could be worse, could be worse. Uh, maybe we're better off mirroring out. Just flute down, take the warp by Hype Cave. Grab the bomb from there. Two more here. Uh, three or more in the Ice Palace. Well, no, six or more in Ice Palace, rather. Think of how many. We might need one more small key for Ice Palace. I don't know. I don't remember. Oh, 
unless they want to be kind enough to give us one here. Ah, Misery Meyer. That's actually pretty good, too. That gets us a little bit more. <laughs> that gets us a little bit more in the Misery Meyer area. Um, does it? Th well, it might give me the one that I'm thinking of. Or the one I was thinking of before, rather. <sighs> Alright, I guess it's time for Ice Balance. I don't like Ice Balance. Oh, nice. That's my boss. That's the best play I got, so it'll be, at the very least, three items. At most, I think maybe six or seven in here? Perhaps more, if I'm forgetting any small key chests. No chest requiring our specialist, so purple chest, which we already did. So that's a worthless hint. Okay. Remember how many other small key doors we need to unlock here? At least one. Well, actually, maybe less, because we've got Samaria and we know various bomb jumps to get around. Okay, so there's eight items in ice here. Glad we have the compass. See, the compass is very useful now, because <laughs> one, I don't remember how many there are. Two, there's a different number because of key sanity. And three, my memory is just bad, which might also be one. too low. Oh, lame. <laughs> Cash is in the castle. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks for that hint. They laid dollar short. We already knew that. <laughs> Dang it. Come on, man. Still know that bomb. Oh shit! Come on. Lame. Is there a heart under this one, right? Yeah. Probably could use that at this point. <sighs> okay. There's one there, there's the big chest, there's one there, there's vanilla big key, there's the boss. That counts for four of them. I remember where the rest of them are. There's one here. G Tower small key, which, you know, I... Let's see, we've got, what, four? That's probably fine. That's probably more than enough. And we've already got the big key, so we really don't care too much about small keys in G Tower, come to think of it. Uh, is this what I want to do? I guess, yeah. Let's skip around a bit, anyways. Bombos? Not terribly important anymore. We're in the only place that would really require it. Uh, we probably could have done the alternate route on this. Too late. 
We had an extra key, although I'm not sure if that's actually an extra key, though. We might actually need it, so this is probably better. It's probably better to do it this way anyways, make the double cycle around. So this will be a key, certainly. This is a really good Song of Storms. I love it. Really solid. Really solid build of things. Number four, we're gonna burn a key here. Uh, I know of at least one more. Still leaves two kind of floating around. Swamp Palace Big Key is in the sewers. I think we got that one already, didn't we? Yeah. Dang it. Okay, so we've got the one across the way. We've got one down the stairs. Okay, I think I've only got one unaccounted for. What other keys there are. Oh, and maybe they count the one... Oh, and then there's this one. Okay, yeah. All the items are accounted for. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. This will be another small key. Yeah, yep, yep. Got that one there. We've got the one in the spike thing just down the stairs. And we've got... Uh... Actually, did we get that one? Oh, yeah. Okay, we're good. So this is number six. Number seven is the spike room. And then number eight will be the boss. We're good. We're good. So I always gotta reassure myself here that I'm not missing something. Because if I do miss something, it'll turn out to be very, very important that we have it. Um, but I think at this point, we're probably... Once we get the rest of the big keys for required dungeons, we will be in go mode. But considering we don't know what the required dungeons are, necessarily, because no maps and shit... Um... It's going to be a really hard distinction to make. So let's see, we need the at least the Thieves Town big key. Um, we don't know if Ice Palace is a crystal or not. T-Rock may or may not be one. The only, the only two places we know are crystals that we need to do is Desert and Thieves Town. The rest are kind of up in the air. So, if Ice Palace is a crystal, that'd be the best. So that would put us one step closer. Easy peasy. Easy with butter. Easy with butter. All for bombs. <laughs> Dang it. Ah, it's a pendant, too. What a tease. It's the red pendant. Lame. <sighs> okay, so where does that leave us? A couple in T-Rock, one in Mire. We can't go any further in Thieves without the big key. We can't go any further in Hera without the big key, so we're really down to... Oh, dang it. Really down to Mire and perhaps the one in Swamp. Ugh, what lame. Lame, lame, lame. I'm gonna play against the odds, I think, and go, go for the one in Mire. Because if we use this, if we use the small key that we have in the right spot, we should be good to go. For other small keys, rather. And maybe, just maybe, it'll be the Meyer big key. Do we have the Meyer big key? We do not. Okay. Well, we're definitely missing some. This is 
be, what, our third trip into Meyer now? <laughs> Dang it. It's really bad. But we really don't have much choice. Not many choices in the matter. So that will always be a necessary door to unlock. Well, I guess that's not true, because once we get the big key, we can do some other things, but... I hope this is going to lead me to where I think it's going to lead me. Because if so, it'll be another one. Yeah, okay. So there's a chest down there, I believe. And there's another small key here. isn't a chest down here. Uh, that sucks. I have incorrectly remembered. <laughs> Which is to say, I have not remembered at all. Shoot. Do I have the map here? I don't. And this will just take me to some bullshit place anyways. Well, that kind of sucks. So, alright, we're stuck in mire then. We need the big key to move move anywhere there. So we're down to Swamp and T-Rock. Playing the odds would be T-Rock. Playing the dumbs would be Swamp. Let's play the odds. What else can we do? Because now, T-Rock, we've got Laser Bridge and all that. Right, please, thank you. we got Laser Bridge, which is... Get out of the way, you dumbass squirrel. Laser Bridge is at least four. Um, plus anything else on the approach, which I, th I think it, it is just going to be four. So I don't think there's anything else besides Laser... Well, besides uh, Trinex, of course, but we can't get the Trinex because no big key. Wedge its ass right in the spot where I don't need it. It's incredible. So we're looking at at least four items here. One of which I hope is the big key to T-Rock because I just want to knock this out and be done with it, but likelihood of that happening is perfect slim. Excuse me. Ugh. All right, so now we don't have to worry about doing this in the dark anymore. We gave it the good old college try last time. So I went to the right too soon on the first pass. That was what killed me. But I did circle around and get it the second time, but I had not enough health to deal with. The rest, which I could have popped a potion and solved that problem, but I don't know how much good that would have would have done this done us here. But considering 
There's four items and shit. A small key to Misery Mire, which isn't isn't terribly helpful at this junction anymore. It's really a All right, you know what? I've got the Pain of Brian. I should be using it. Don't fall in again, idiot. Um. Ah, there's the Swamp Palace small key. All right, we're good to go there. And red nail, heck yeah. Okay. Now I think we're just down to one item in T Rock. So now we can go, I think, full clear swamp. With the exception of the two chests on the left side, we know is going to be bogus, so we can skip those. This will get us so many more and hopefully another crystal. And since we've already got the big key for that too, we are leaving no stone unturned, no chest unopened, no eye unpoked, etc. Swamp Palace Small Key can be a little bit elusive sometimes. So it kind of sucks that we get it 216, well, 215 at the time, in, but. Oopsie. But hey, that's just how the rando goes sometimes. The good news being that we already have the Ganon's Tower Big Key, so as soon as we get the. the remaining four crystals here, we are 100% solid and good to go. So my dearest hope right now is that uh, T-Rock is a pendant. Ha! There's the Hera big key. Alright. That's good. So now we've got Hera on the list as well. Ganon's Tower. All right, there's the other useless map. Hooray. Hooray! That's out of the... Out of the pool of things that we care about. Excuse me. Oh, goodness. Started late, so it's getting late here. But now, the remainder of the small keys in this place we get from under pots and from enemies and stuff, so we really only worry about the first one. Get it somewhere else in the world. Since we're not dealing with Pot Shuffle, we know this key isn't going to be over there, so that's good. That's wrong. <laughs> isn't it... Isn't it kind of weird how yawns work, you know? It's supposed to be... I, I, I don't know if this is true. But it's supposed to be some evolutionary thing, right? Where... Yawning sets off yawning and everybody else because it's it's supposed to be like, oh hey, we are we are safe so we can rest or something like that, you know? It's just kind of a a really weird natural communication mechanism to indicate safety, which is really funny and cool. If that's true. If that's true. Oh there's the Meyer big key. Alright, cool. Cool and good. Um Let's see here. We're gonna let's see five six is over there. I think we're fine here. Yeah, we should have the rest. I don't know if that's true, so don't like quote me on it. But I I think that's what I read at some point. <laughs> I think it might be true. It sounds good, doesn't it? Like it sounds like a, a fun and cool thing. Well, there's... Now all we're missing really is the big. Uh, we still need the desert big key as well. The big key to Thief's Town would be real solid too, because we know we need to do that one. Hmm. 
We know we need to do these times as a crystal, but everything else is kind of up for grabs. Ah! Hey, look at that! Thieves Town Big Key. So the Hera and the Thieves Town Big Key were in the swamp. That's wild. That is wild. And the other pod, small key. Alright, well that's worthless. 100% worthless, but... You know, we found it. I might stop off for some parts in that other room. Just for safety. I know we've got red mail, but dealing with Argus is... High on my list to do carefully and or well. So sick of the beeping. Ouch. What is it? Compass of Eastern, and it's a crystal. All right, I can deal. There's crystal four. Yeah. Cut. Well, okay. So now we can polish off Thieves Town. We've got the big key to Hera. <coughs> We're really only missing the big key to Desert, and then we are good to go. So let's go grab Thieves Town, since we know. That is required. And that's still got at least four more items left for us, so there's a good chance we'll find the desert big key in there. Let's see, we need three more crystals, huh? So we know Desert and Thieves. The third one is a toss-up between Meyer, T-Rock, and Hera. I'm personally hoping for Hera, because that one's nice and easy. And we've got all the equips we need for it. But... But, but, knowing the rando, it's either going to be Meyer or T-Rock. <laughs> the two worst possible candidates that are remaining. Still need to check every item. Unfortunately, until we find the desert big key, we still need to check everything. And we might still be missing a small key for something else as well. I don't necessarily remember where, though. We've got everything we need for Harrow, we've got everything we need for uh, Thieves Town. I think we've got everything for desert besides the big key, of course. Uh, Meyer, we should be good to go. T-Rock, we might need yet. I don't know. We might need another small key to T-Rock. We do, because we need the laser bridge small key. Assuming T-Rock uh, ends up being required. So we're still on the lookout for a couple keys. But other than that, this is... Now looking good. If everything goes well, should, quote-unquote, uh, be a sub-3, which would be real solid for me. But, won't know until it happens. Yep. 
you know, the reason it'll be real solid for me is that it'll be the first key sanity seed we've ever completed. <laughs> so I did do a couple test runs and a few other ones, but I never saw those through to the end. <laughs> hey, well, there's some literacy. Ah, that kind of sucks, though. That opens up the two tablets. And it lets us check MSP. <laughs> Which, uh, there's still a chance that MSP could really give us some problems. Ah, oh, the red meringue, hooray. Because the MSP could still have the desert big key. Like, that's the big problem now, here. Because, I mean, because of the way key sanity works, if, let's say, desert is, oh, desert is the last uh, crystal. Let's say that there's something locked in Ganon's tower that we need to find the last key for, say, T-Rock or whatever, right? That could make a dip into G-Tower necessary. Oh wait, I guess that's not true, because we would need all the crystals to get in the new tower. Alright, there's definitely some circumstances where, say, a, a key item that you need, like, I don't know, maybe Samaria? It could be in G-Tower, and then you need to go into G-Tower to get it to finish up something else to get the to get something else or whatever. There are definitely situations where G-Tower, even if you've unlocked it, is not, that's not it. Like the G-Tower big key, I suppose, huh? Could be anywhere. And then you need something out of G-Tower to go get it elsewhere. Alright, well there's Crystal 5, and that was, uh, Thieves Town. Uh, okay, let's see. Meyer, perhaps? Yeah. Yeah, Meyer. 245 is too optimistic? I think it is. At this point, we're still missing a big key. We're still missing the big key to Desert. I think 245 is maybe calling it a bit early. So honestly, at this point, maybe Meyer being the... Oh, we could go to Hera too, actually. Maybe I should have gone to Hera instead. Well, too late. We're here. We're committed. So at this point, Meyer being the, the last crystal would be great. Honestly. As well as having the desert big key, it would be the best, but... I, I feel like I'm not gonna get that lucky. What is this now? Our fourth visit into Misery Mire? Oh, it's so dumb. It's the dumbest, in fact. Gotta remember, we gotta get this big chest. Because if this is gonna be the Desert Big Key and we had forgotten it, that would have been super bad. Eh? Ah, it's, ah, it's the Misery Mire Compass. <laughs> Perfect. Ah, sugar. Yeah, do that. Oh well. Just go around. At the very least, we cleaned out Meyer, even if we did spend a couple extra minutes in it that we didn't need to spend on our last visit. right, because we didn't hit the switches before. Oh, 
Well, at least with Silver Arrows, this will be a soft touch of a boss fight. Which is always good. I hate Vitreus. <laughs> I hate him. It's not it's not a good not a good boss. Normally. But eleven arrows later. Well. Or if you're an idiot and mess up the first one. Dang. How about a crystal though? Ah, it's the green pendant! <laughs> Shoot, what was the hint for Shashashashala? He had a key to something, didn't he? What did he have the key to? Did he have a, a G Tower key or something? I, I don't remember now. But okay, off to Hera. That's the other one that we can complete. We can check the ether tab while we're up there. I know it was a small key. It was a key to something. It definitely wasn't the desert big key, so I would have remembered that, I hope. But it was a small key to something. Ooh, if it was a T-Rock small key, that might actually be important. Ooh, sugar. Maybe we should go down and get that first. Uh, too late. <laughs> too late! We're committed to this! One thing at a time. This T Rock small key is actually important if T Rock is gonna be required. Do we have an idea? We don't. I've seen a whole bunch of burritos. Very weird. Well, fully kitted out. Big ol' riot shield. Shershirlo is required here. But, I guess if he is, it's a good thing we went and did Mire. So we'll see. We'll see soon enough. Well, map for Hera, so we're already deep into it, so we can't... We could warp out and check, but I'm not gonna do that. And there's a third bottle. Blue goo. crystal. Shoot, we're just missing the, the big key to desert. Dang it. Oh, lame. Oh, wait. No, we don't need... Oh, we do need the big key to desert. Dang it. Yeah. Yeah, that's the one thing we're missing. Crap. <laughs> oh, crap. You know what? Let's grab whatever Shershul has got. I think there's... There's one item in T-Rock. One item left there. And it's whatever Trinex is holding. So, really, we're down to single item locations. That's a T-Rock small key. Oh, no, that was a Castle Tower one. Okay, right, right, right. Okay, so that wasn't important. That was a waste of time. 
Well, that's alright. Let's at least get it out of here. So we're down to the... Oh, no. MSP could still be in play here, though. Oh, sh shoot. <laughs> oh, shoot. If Desert Big Key is on MSP, I'm gonna be so angry. I am gonna be extremely angry. Oh no. We can check it now that we've got literacy, but there's so many other items that we're missing. Like, how, do, how are we missing so many, like the net and the cape? Oh, we've got, I forgot to mark Brian there. We're missing the net and the cape. Like, how are we missing so many things here? The net and the cape, oh, and the red meringue, which I picked up and didn't work. Uh... Ah, oh, that's, there it is! Oh, good. All right, <laughs> we out. We out, son. Go mode achieved. 235 in. Go mode has been achieved. Oh my goodness. So literacy was required. Where was literacy? Was that in Meyer? I think that was in Meyer, right? Ugh. My goodness. What a runaround. But alright. Whew! I think we're still. Yeah, I think we've got a, a pretty good chance at sub 3 now. Something has to really go wrong to not get a sub-3. Two forty-five would still be pushing it, I think. But sub-3 is definitely, definitely in the cards. Awesome. I was really worried that this is that this is gonna go like three and a half hours or something. Oh, I forgot that Spike Cave was still kind of on the table too. Oh man, wouldn't that have been super dumb? Lame. Oh, come on, at least hit one. Dang it. <laughs> Dang it. Ah, Aim is terrible. Should've just stuck with the... Should've just stuck with the fire rod or just used the sword. That was a silly run of things going there. Still missing an item. Oh, I guess we didn't check the big chest, huh? That would have been something. All right, well, there's Crystal 7, 238. We have all the crystals. All right, well, the good news is now we can go just straight flying on through G Tower. Because we've already got the big key. <laughs> on the big key like an hour and a half ago.
Okay, now I'm gonna be real curious what's on uh, MSP. It's probably gonna be some rupees or some garbage like that. <laughs> Alright, we ended G Tower by 240. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. Well, this has been... I don't i don't even know if I could call this an average Key Sandy seed. I don't know what constitutes an average for this type of thing. I feel like it's been pretty good, though. You know, the mid-game really sucked. Early game was nice. Kakarika was loaded. Late game hasn't been too bad. Like, we've been popping off big keys one after another. The mid game was just terrible, though. As is pretty typical for my randos, though. That's, that's not that shit. Can I? My arrow can also get That'll help. Clean run. Nice. It was worth going for. Get him, dead eye. <laughs> Sick. Oh, get you some idiot. How about you, fella? Nah. Eh? Oh. Come on, man. Stop moving around. Okay. It's been a pretty clean gauntlet. Ah, dang. Always try to. Oh, nice. Sick. All right. Just in case. Oh, I'm pretty, pretty beefy at this point, but yeah, could use that extra five hearts. All right, pretty solid, solid landmo refight. The the non refight was terrible, but the refight was okay. to get an excellent on that. Whoa, nice. Not very often that I can slip my way through that one. Validation chest, what are we feeling today? What are we feeling in validation? Ah, 50 bucks. Thanks. Thanks for that. Take one out of that. 
whatever. Oh, the triple! Sick! Oh, that was really good. Can't believe it. Ah, I fucked it up. That could have been a three cycle if I hadn't dicked about too much. Fucking solid triple, though. That is unheard of for me. That was a pretty weird triple, too. Like, those weren't lined up very well. But we pulled it off. Oh, that's Drift Wizard second. Okay, so we're looking at maybe a sub 250. Perhaps a 248. If we do a nice Ganon fight. So, hopefully that was enough for phase two, it was. Very good. Wow. Coward. Come on. Come on, you <sighs> Of course, if he does this, Garbo. Come on, man. Really? Stu- Dude, stop it! Shit. Shit. Okay. Uh, we're not. We're not. Um, excuse me! That was bullshit. That was bullshit. The fire was gone. Oh, you are an asshole, Ganon. You are just the biggest asshole. Alright. Well, now it's definitely not a sub-248. I fucking hit the button! Use the damn potion, you dumbass hedgehog! Ugh! If you don't set hedgehogs on epic adventures, they fuck it up. <sighs> Alright, cool. Still could pull out a sub-250. <laughs> Lame-ass bullshit. Now I'm gonna miss the torch glitch because of the asshole. Thanks. Thanks for that again, buddy. Oh, don't shove me off the edge, please. Thank you. Fire the arrows! Ugh! Lean and oh yeah, good. Get your fat ass in the way. Thanks. Thanks for that. Ravy. This fight has been going terribly. Oh, still got him. Amazing. Can we double it to finish it off? Yeah, eat shit! Asshole. <laughs> Alright. Okay. <laughs> Fucking lame. Two downs against Ganon. Are you kidding me? It's so dumb. Alright, 249. 249. Okay, you know, that's an acceptable key sanity, I think. <sighs> but anyways, prepare to fast forward! It's 
Night Cellar. Just sure, Shrilla. Okay, well, let's see the, the wrap-up of this, and then we'll call it a night. We'll call it a night and call this good. So, I'm going to submit this as a backup run for uh, Super Stigma Slam 2019 here. No guarantees that it'll get in. But, if it does, cool. If it doesn't, whatever. There's always... Always, always, always a danger of a rando in a marathon going just super terribly. Oof. But if we call, like, the high end, maybe three and a half hours is probably pretty safe. Yeah, no, no glitches in the end credits without the enemy randomizer going on. Which, yeah, it is kind of entertaining, but... At the same time, I think throwing an enemy randomizer on top of a key sanity is probably beyond my capability. Well, no, that's not true. It's not beyond my capability. It's beyond my threshold for sanity, I suppose. At least in a marathon setting. Okay, so it's just arrows on MSP. If I hadn't duffed up the Ganon fight, that probably would have been a 247, maybe 247 and a half. I guess that means that T-Rock would have been the last, the last pendant. Wow, so the pendant selection on this seed was prime. Ice, Meyer, and T-Rock are all pendants, so if this was not... If this was not a key sanity and there were no key items in any of those dungeons, this would have been the best setup we could have hoped for. Phew. It's so a 245 to hold anyone. <laughs> wow, a 240... I would have been super happy with a 245. It just was not lined up for that, though. Even if I... Yeah, we were at 245 out of Jerk Wizard the second, so that wouldn't have held anyways. Because we had that pretty good triple on Jerk Wizard. Like, I tried. I tried real hard to make that a 245, but it just was not meant to be after that point. <laughs> Whoa. Dang. Can't believe it. I can't believe it. Pendants on the last three Dark World palaces, and... It was in a key sanity. That's dumb. <laughs> That's super dumb. Eh, first sword at 37 minutes. <laughs> Early flute was nice. Early flute was real nice. <laughs> GT big key, of course. Five deaths, really? Two on Ganon, certainly. I guess we did have one or two in some other palaces, but I don't remember what they were. So. Well, that went pretty well, I'd say. Not well enough to make for me to make this a regular thing, but well enough for who it will be for. <laughs> All right, we're gonna call it there. Uh, next stream will be tomorrow night, 7 p.m. CDT. Salt Android Cactus speedruns. Plus an Infinity Drive or two, perhaps. We'll see. Um, and then Monday night, 7 p.m. CDT. Since we are done with Bloodstained, we will be starting a new game. I have to determine what that is yet. All right, thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.